<laughs> There's the crown. The very first Arwen crown. Honestly, look at the looking at the side details. My mom did did a pretty good job. You know, it made me feel like Arwen. Just a little bit. No smell. <laughs> As if I can't. Ah, on Halloween. So from that, like from that, I mean, this is like the full, <laughs> full manifestation. Ta da! <laughs> I dreamed, I spent. I acquired fairy, not fairy, Arwen. Elf. Okay, I have about an hour to do the Panacone quest, or to start it rather. Although I am like 99% sure that Jake's gonna be late. So, we should have maybe a little bit extra time. We'll see. We will see. But we're gonna start it today. Yes. Talk to Aventurine. Wait, let me teleport. Oh, no. Teleport here. The quest is a fountain with a lot of lore. It's exciting. All right, there's a venturing in my room once again. Unprompted, unrequested, there he is. <clears throat> Looking at my bathtub. The last quest left me with so many questions that I don't really know what is the main thing we're trying to figure out. Who is Firefly? Why is Firefly? What's the deal with the family? Is Robin living? Or is it Jover? <clears throat> is Aventurine a good guy? Or a bad guy? Let's find out. How is Firefly? <laughs> something something Memoria. <laughs> I'm literally hitting the target. What's the problem? All right, you smug word I don't say out loud. What do you have to say? That's Japanese. <laughs> I forgot to switch it back. <sighs> do you cuss in real life? No. No. I do not. <一応言っておくけど>、<笑> <coughs> I will be switching to English soon. A memory. Oh. Okay. I don't know what I think. Oh, そうだね。
ファミリーのドリームメーカーたちは思考を一つにつなぎ合わせ破られることのない堅固な防衛線を築いてる、うん、その防衛線を突破して無境の中で死を作り出すなんてファミリーの許可がなければメモキーパーですら不可能だ。So then what? So then what does that mean? じゃあ誰ならできるのか Death in the dreams そんなの彼女しかいない。あの巡回レンジャーを自称する女性。他人になりすました招かれざる客。正体を隠した司令。Oh, I really like his JP voice actor, to be honest. A free to a shindano a matching a nida roshi. Robin no Robin. Canojo no Sanjo mo mite no toida. Sate Tsugi no gise shani naru no a dare cana. It's just one side of the story. Yeah. <笑>大丈夫君は自分で判断すればいい信頼を築くには時間がかかるからね僕は喜んで待とう君にも知っておいてもらいたかったんだその遺産とやらをめぐり今ピノコニーでは水面下で妙な動きがあって誰もが良から
カンパニーにも取れる手段がある今がチャンスなんだロビンの死の真相を明らかにできれば死者に安らぎを与えられるだけじゃなく交渉のチップも手に入ってファミリーをテーブルにつかせられる僕がピノコニーの各地で調査を行い幅広く交流してきたのはこの瞬間のためなんだよこの悪い知らせはファミリーにとってとても不利なものだからきっと外部の人間特にカンパニーの介入を全力で阻止しようとしてくるだろうでもきっといくつかの派閥は例外になるそれこそが君たちを必要とする理由だよ請求列車の名声は広く轟いているから調和も君たちには公正な評価を与えるはずだ君たちは真相を明らかにして正義を貫ける僕はカンパニーの仕事を全うできるこれぞウィンウィンってやつさウィンウィン to take advantage of the family's trust in, in us 急いで答えを出す必要はないよウィンウィン一旦仲間のところに戻って彼らと相談してみるといいウィンウィンあのナビゲーターのお姉さんは聡明だからきっとこの取引の価値を分かってくれるはずだまあ,あ,あそれからオプスこれも持って行って調査を進めるにはどうしたって資金が必要になるだろうほら遠慮しないで受け取ってくれ It better be two million. じゃあまたね君たちと一緒に死の真相を明らかにできることを心から楽しみにしているよアベンチュリン言うだけ言って言っちゃった確かに無理強いする気はないみたいだけどなんか引っかかるこの後はどうするつもりなのブラックスワンはどう思ってるんだろう、yeah, Switch to English How do、uh, you know Ultra Lakes are focused critical, critical reading comprehension That part. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm up for、um, we our goals temporarily align for a short time so we can work together with a v e n t u r i n I never heard the JP MC voice. Yeah, honestly, I don't think I have either. Interesting. On the surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. But a Venturine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet. But judging by your reaction, he may、oh. have noticed something going on. And he doesn't know? He shifted topics to the truth of death to try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. That's quick thinking and very sound logic. A Venturine is no fool. And working with him definitely has its dangers. <clears throat> For Firefly's sake, we must get to the bottom of this. The nameless cannot turn a blind eye to evil. Let's not sound. Let's not get on our high horse, okay? For Firefly. That is something I agree on. The nameless. Anyway, be、must. careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. We、As、must. As for the other questions. <laughs> We must band together against the forces of evil. Did death kill Robin? I'm not sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit, but、mm. that massive wound looked like its wing blade. We've all witnessed it in action before. Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities loose in the dreamscape. Or maybe someone's hiding, using it as an excuse or as a cover up. You think this is connected to Acheron? Sorry, I can't answer that question. That ranger is shrouded in mystery. <laughs> I'm afraid no one is capable of providing an answer. Watch out, Miss Black Swan. But, without a doubt. 
She is the most special guest. Seen your, I've seen your future. It's like a venturing said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. Unless you want your uh, your hair snatched from your its follicles. You shouldn't try to find out what's going on with Akron. Have you noticed anything else unusual? Two victims appearing one after the other in a very short time span. <laughs> in and of itself, that's very unusual. Two possibilities. The collapse of Panacone's dreamscape has started speeding up. Making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Or everything has been planned out and executed by someone. If someone has chosen these victims deliberately, first a smuggler, then a family celebrity, then this murderer's motives are worth thoroughly chewing over. It's, it's a murder mystery. This is so exciting. Uh, Oi. Oh yeah. <laughs> thank you for the, thank you for the 49 months, almost 50 months. Just do it. The animation happened already? Oh. Well, hopefully she got some, uh, some scalp, some scalp serum to help with all that, the hair loss she must have experienced from that. It's all happened. I can so recommend quickly, her. So I can only make conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can Wait. clarify the source of this confusion. I oh, see. I'm sorry if you can hear chewing. That video Come really made me hungry. This way. It's a short walk. Come this Don't way. Get lost. Oh, oh, we're gone. Better run faster. I'm gonna get you here again. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> there can only be one purple girl, okay? There ain't room in this town for the both of us. This way. This is where we part ways. All of this is like a nightmare. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened. And it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. But follow your heart and don't be afraid. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths. And ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Ah, hold on just a sec. There you go. A small parting gift. If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone, and there's no memo keeper to join you, hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. If there's a spoiler, I, I didn't see it. I also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. Thank you. Let's not put our hints or speculations out. Yes, please. Then, I have something private to take care of regarding that Galaxy Ranger. Let's leave things there, shall we? Okay, good What luck. fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. The folks who spoil will start coughing in two days. <laughs> that is my favorite. That is my favorite genres of tweets. Uh, you will start coughing in two days. <laughs> dish Iris, Dish Iris. Oh, they're all worried about me. I feel so important. You will start feeling a pain in your side. <laughs> I like coughing because it's not, um, it could be a cold, or it could be <laughs> like a, a family rest. lethal disease. Is Himiko okay? Parting gift. Card art. Thanks. Okay, clocky statue. On my way. Ow. You wake up with a dry throat that doesn't go away. 
<laughs> Hi, Arlo. Your bowel movements will be altered in one way or another. <laughs> in two days. In two days, you will start to uh, mysteriously sweat uncontrollably. So much has happened. You will break into a light sweat. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. You will feel a chill, though there is no wind or cold air. Oh, flashback? Better unsheath that blade now, Ranger. Do you still dream, Hunter? Of those slain by your hand? <sighs> Hello? <laughs> that was way too intense. We just show for two seconds. Oh, Duke Inferno. What it happened to him? The outcome has already been determined. We're still alive. As are you. We still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind. And then go. Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room for hesitation. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special treatment. Ranger, you'll tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never understand. We come from the fire, and are born bathed in fire. We spread, burn, and destroy, until all the kindling has burned out and we leave only ashes on the ground. Burning forms the entire life of a fire demon, from the beginning to the end. We are born to die, just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. Hmm. All things are created for the destruction. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. Hmm. They are my children. Like what's happening, all I know is pretty woman. Was, they are flames that have yet to burn my heart. They're still young and I don't believe them. But my flames are feet. And time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? I plan to bring purgatory with me there. And before that, I must surpass you. Why? Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther than I have. Emanator. <sighs> okay, so that's who Aventry was talking about. Akron. Which we figured already. Identity. <clears throat> Draw that sword. For we shall indeed remain here, bound to fight a decisive battle to the death. For I choose this. Destruction is intense, but brief. Mm. To cravenly cling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction. What is important <clears throat> is not the answer, <coughs> but that it exists just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Mm. Emanators are no different. 
Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called impossible mm. is merely something that has yet to happen. <sighs> All right. I accept. You shall witness the most brilliant and intense fire in existence. May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream. A bottomless dream. Yes, that's right. But you've made one small mistake. This blade remains in its scabbard not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose, but perhaps out of reciprocity. Oh. I'll reveal the truth to you. Oh. The hunt is not the path I truly follow. Right. May Show us be the end of your boundless dream, guiding you back to the waking world. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I still see them in my dreams. <gasps> Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. My time. I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances, but they can never cover up who a person really is. And you're no different. I would say my reading comprehension or listening comprehension of that conversation was a, a solid like 30%. Maybe I just don't understand how the paths, like what the paths are. Like are the paths, each path is represented by an a aeon, right? So is it like a religion? Is it like a like a like a philosophy religion? Yes. Yes, it's a religion kind of. Kind of like that. Like a way of life sort of. The concept philosophy path to power. I think the important point here is that Galaxy Rangers are supposed to follow the hunt and Akron doesn't. Yes, right. So Akron is not truly a hunt follower. It's a system of how you perceive the universe. Okay, yeah, that's essentially a religion. Religion ideology. Similar universe reading helps a lot. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was listening to that. I'm like, if I read those, uh, if I had read those little cards about each of the aeons, I probably wouldn't be so confused right now. <laughs> Uh, philosophy is a good way to think about it. Okay, okay, okay. From that we gathered, Akron is not actually following the hunt. She's revealing her. She's concealing her true identity, and apparently others are as well. Sam or this guy is also concealing his identity. This I, this makes me want to, yeah. I really just be clicking in there and getting my twenty primo jades and leaving. But it seems, I mean, this could be the thing that gets me, like, actually into reading reading that part, the lore. Yes, Duke Inferno was destruction, and Acheron is not. Right. And also not the hunt. Okay. You had no desire to kill the Trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the Memo Keeper away, but... Why? <sighs> Sam, spill it. Did Destiny's slave make you do it? You know, Elio. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. What are these My words? script has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape and until then i hold the privilege of choice however 
You appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. His voice is so good. Who exactly are you? Not your enemy, perhaps. That's not what I asked. I don't deserve your curiosity. Oof. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Sure. Maybe I can help. What reason would you have for doing that? I tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. Hmm. So... I know who is inside that cold armor. Spill it. How about it? Tell us. Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? It's not yet time. I don't need help. Tell me. Tell but I can me. give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. Already on it. <laughs> and the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. Who is it? What's next then? The trailblazer has been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for her? No need for that. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am confronting you. I failed. Can't ever go against the script. Mm -hmm. The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in the Ooh, red text future again. foreseen by destiny. Who is you? Who are you? Or all of you? Unfortunately, not a thing came up. <laughs> I knew it. Red text! Hang on. I don't. Don't what? Your first question was, do you still have dreams about everyone who died because of you? I don't. Never have. I was born without the ability to dream. Dream. I live for this cold, harsh reality, for a little light, and to burn, to keep on burning, until I turn to ash. So, I really envy you. Is that so? Oh. And you're already living in the waking world. What does it mean? What does it mean? <sighs> we heard Along about 26 this months from Black Swan, Peep -o -sit game a Pika Kony quest. We never expected Miss Robin to. Vader, thank you for the 26. Flowers, Sage. Catchy Denzel, peachy, 
Cecilia Brick. No, Sir Sol Cersei Albrick. Sun God. Journey Donald, thank you for the resubs. Oh, I'm sorry that I couldn't be with you then. Reality cruises on in serenity while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that memo keeper said. Stay strong, everyone. We can still do what we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. Yeah, murder mystery. Let's recap everything then. The trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? Uh, indeed we trust that the Nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. Uh, that's how it was put. In reference to Miss Firefly. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. Mm. The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out, Penacone's going to turn into a bloodbath. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. Mm. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival is nearly here. They must be snowed under. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. Sounds sus. After all, the nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. Aventurine is on guard against Akron. Indeed. He was particularly concerned about that galaxy ranger. Are we missing the forest for the trees here? I always felt that Aventurine's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? We really are detectives. At this point, I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. Look, let's try to gather intel first and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. I've still got this sense of foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool, mm. spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened. Uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective. But before we start, what are we going to say to the family and adventuring? As I see things, Sorry. the family harbors no ill will towards the Astral Express. If they didn't trust the crew, they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's, in all likelihood, a scandal. Plus, this is the family's turf. Teaming up with them should make things easier for us in the future. Himiko's cult physics always confuse me. This one... Oh. I was gonna say, I was assuming these two little buttons were, like, connected to each other, because that would explain how it's holding on. But I don't see anything like that. This one I could understand, but this... <laughs> like, what... <laughs> There's nothing... That, that button, that little button, isn't connected to anything. It's just, like, stapled to her shoulder. Fashion tape is... It, if you want the real answer, fashion tape is the only possibility. But in our case, we'll say magic. 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 As for that aventurine. Anime. Well, I'd like to hear your thoughts. <laughs> wow, it's actually not. That's only on her skin. It's not even connected to another piece of clothing. That is funny. Uh, we think on it. We think too hard. We think too hard about it. Just enjoy it. He's complex. Pity. He deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but 
the intent was obvious. Still, it's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. The Venturine showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. We also need to keep a certain distance from the family. Never let them get too close. Teaming up with the IPC helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, we have the option to pull out. So you suggest accepting a Venturine's proposal to team up? Woo! Yes. Yes. It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgments. I get why, but there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here, and I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. <laughs> She's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. Don't say stabbed in the back, it's too early! It's too early to be using words like that. <sighs> She's sticky. You know, I actually wouldn't be... I, I feel like in a world like this, it's not unreasonable to suggest that, like, some characters might have, like, cyborg, like, cyberpunk um, body modifications. Like, what if she just had, like, like, a surgery that gave her a little, like, hook that's part of her body now, and you could just, like... Or, like, a snap that you could just, you know... Yeah, way too soon, March. This is this got the same energy as after uh spoilers for Bellwog. After Cocolia died and and uh Miss Miss Bronya didn't even get to say like a final word to her. And March from the back goes Wow, that was a tough trailblazing expedition. We did it! <laughs> There's no tact. No tact. Quite uncouth. Maybe skin velcro? Yes, I could see that. She has her own gravitational pull. Oh yeah, or getting like a magnet installed underneath your bot, underneath your skin. That seems like that could have some really dangerous ramifications, but... You know, someone just rolls up with a big magnet. But yeah, anyway. Body mod is probably also an option. Uh, let's focus on... It's cool you can bully me whenever. Uh, you... No, I can't accept this! Am I getting bullied? I don't uh, remember. Forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we can just turn the tables and use him instead. Then, could you please reply to Aventurine? T. Everyone... Take this time to put together your thoughts. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We'll collaborate. That's how I respond to my sponsorship offers. We'll collaborate. I have decided to accept your request for collaboration. Wonderful, your response came faster than I expected. From now on, we'll be in this together. Here's a small something for our upcoming partnership. Oh my gosh, she sponsored me. That's it? Give me another 100k, rich boy! <laughs> I first said too early. <laughs> yeah, that's how you negotiate, people. Just as I anticipated, family is going to sweep Robin's case under the rug as long as they can. Says, you know, so, if you don't remember getting bullied, either you didn't get bullied or you got hit in the head real hard. <laughs> <laughs> or you selectively blocked it out. So her her case is only a secret between us, but in any other case, depends on what excuse they have affair for you guys. That's so funny. <laughs> the interaction is golden. That's it? I'm saving this. Sometimes I don't know if stuff's gonna disappear, so, you know, for for uh, content purposes. Enjoy the Quest MS Dish in Dish Oops, I it too early. <laughs> and that's how you negotiate people. Love that. What's the word? Suggestive little profile picture. Little Looks like happy with this outcome. Oh! 
Abundance. Increases wear's break effect by 25. Oh. Who are we rocking this on, huh? Suggestive? It is suggestive. That's Gallagher's best in slot? Excellent! Thanks for the animation that satisfied my uh, my my gotcha craving. By the way, I feel like I'm just rolling in Stellar Jade lately. And star and ticket tickets. It's actually so smart that they chose now to release a character that's like extra cracked with her signature weapon. Because players are getting like more in-game currency than ever <clears throat> so it will balance out more people will be like oh i have extra so you know i'll just pull on the weapon banner so it probably <laughs> it's smart honestly they gave a lot of rewards but they gave you something you wanted a weapon so it probably balances out as far as num like bottom line goes yeah i feel like i've gotten like 40 40 passes in the last couple like two week or so Aventurine said something that concerns me. He accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever, mm. but said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking you. Yeah, it was a true. groundless accusation, which only serves to make him seem more suspicious. Does Venturine have other plans he's bluffing? Maybe Venturine's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards mm. Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Two birds, one <clears throat> stone. Among us. However, I asked Don Hong back on the Express to confirm that story about the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Venturine made up out of thin air. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? Mm, she's a very gentle woman, mysterious, powerful, weird. I can't seem to remember. Um, uh, mysterious. No, oh, I like this answer. That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. Haven't you done the story? Very Haven't you done the story? Haven't you done the story? No. And fond of being alone. Why would I be doing it if I've already done it? Suspect. Thinks. Think. Criti critical thinking skills. I believe in you. Avenger's <clears throat> goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So, how does he plan on taking them down? It's got to be something important enough that everyone will notice. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. If you pick either options, it will make you pick the I don't remember one with red text. Really? Ah, see, that's what I was thinking. Based on my experience with Akron, I assumed the Trailblazer wouldn't be able to remember most of it. That's very cool. That's a very cool detail. Um, no conclusions can be drawn just I'm yet. I'm just speculating. In any case, we have to be very careful clever. when handling Aventurine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Also, he's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. <laughs> This is why I love doing quests and watching quests with people. Like, I like the, the collective uh, quest experience because we would pool our, like, knowledge <laughs> together <laughs> to make it a more, like, What's nine plus ten? complex, 20, complete experience. One. Months with the best community ever. True. Not biased, but true. True. It's crazy that her auto attack in her normal form is just like a blunt force hit with her <laughs> weapon sheathed. <laughs> it's like a it's like a bat basically. I hope it's not too soon to bring it up. But 
I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead, but that she's still alive and well. Somewhere. Hmm. But everything's just some horrible prank. I want to miss this weekly podcast, honestly. That's so interesting that you say that. That's so interesting that you bring this up right now. Because... Three months, let's go. Thank you for everything, Miss Dish. Have a lovely stream and have a great day, Dishlings. People love. Thank you so much for the three with Risa, Hollandaise. Because aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? How could someone <sighs> die in a beautiful dreamscape like this? Shouldn't only good things happen here? You ever heard of Nightmares March? <sighs> Whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. Leak it. You can pause champ all you want. No, no. That's all I'm going to say. After all, they've brought <laughs> everyone this sleepy dreamscape, which everyone loves. I just feel like I'm starting to understand them less and less. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. Hmm. It's all so unreal. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us were all outsiders from another world. Hmm. Aww, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. <laughs> uh, but... Then I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. Soda, not al not to be confused with alcohol. I Looks want like a cool, stiff drink. Else. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. Yumiko, what do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that she witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? Seeing as we're at the family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel? Yes, why? Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. How about we split off into two groups? There are still some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape i'll investigate those and we can link up again later i think dunhung Worth should join us on. oh no problem i'll leave it to you then what was that telepathic communication uh -huh. Aww, i thought i'd finally get to see himeko and mr yang go out on a mission together oh well take care then mr yang <laughs> i will Keep in touch. Bruh. He spoke into her brain. Yeah, eye language. Hmm. Honored guest, uh, could you come out for a second? Sorry? Oh. Oh. I'd be embarrassed too, getting stared out like that. I'm sorry? Forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Welt. Is there something about my name? Hello? Hunk Impact First, third reference? Don't you want to know my name? That I don't know? <laughs> I already do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. Hunk Impact third moment? What are they saying about me? Some claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders. That the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. And that you're now attempting to unleash another mm. bloodbath on mm. Penicone. The Annihilation Gang. Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic pathstrider. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. 
And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? That the keen intuition. Uh, Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane. Uh, so you must surely know, Miss Acheron, that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. <laughs> Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. Oh my gosh! That shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. Believe it or not, oh Galaxy my gosh. Ranger, Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panaconia is solely to fulfill an old final request. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions. Oh, it got such as why the Astral there. Express is roaming around the cosmos with a Stellaron on board. <laughs> That's me. Is she okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything, right? She's worried about us. She's fine. Let's just stick with the topic. Gaining my trust depends on how much you're willing to reveal. She's worried. I've run around many different Panacone dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize the secret of Panacone oh. may be closely related to the Trailblaze. That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. Hmm. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm-hmm. By the way, would you like something to drink? <laughs> before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? No, four cups. <laughs> because the conversation coming up will last forever. What does it mean? What does it mean? It's all so ominous. <sighs> I've been watching her closely for a while now. Another and the first date? invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. Is there a brief summary of Welt's relationship with the Acheron? Not like the 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 eight. Anka Impact third version of Acheron. Is there a simple explanation? Because I don't want the whole <laughs> Jack and always. Yeah, Ryan and May. Ryan and May, right, right, right. Well, and Ryan and May know each other well in Hong Kong Impact third. Help her save the world. That's the TLDR. Okay, okay. Nice. That That helps. So very serious, significant relationship. Thank you. Thanks. May was like a Welts student. Oh, teacher mentor. Oh, I bet that was like really emotional to watch then. Video summary, save us. <laughs> she just sat in one corner, Thank you. keeping silent, chugging down a couple of cups of wake the heck up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage. 
not the taste of sweet dreams. Coffee. Only for people allergic to Soul Glad. And she said, Really? Mm hmm. But I don't taste any difference at all between them. What? It's weird. The guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. It's a cinch. This music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. Uh. The Annihilation Gang, that band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you, what exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. This is so much like lore and answer uh, answers. Gradation 12. Dreamscape 12. Father, I dedicate this to you. Well done. I need to start writing these names down. Wherever they go, <laughs> shall be met by annihilation. Oh, fuck. There it is. Slow down, slow down, slow it's down, hazy, slow down, slow down. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably his progeny. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... Duke Inferno's... baby. They sought refuge in the land of sleep. Merely wishing for undisturbed rest, away from the storms. Children of the flame, this marks your right of passage. Oh, I hate redacted text. She won't be necessary. I alone am enough. When have thou, on the path of destruction, feared death? It doesn't feel the like anything's Everflame missing. Mansion has set out on a journey. Everflame Mansion. Those poor people, they have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. Is she really just talking to herself in this room? <gasps> what happened? <laughs> the memory after that is blank how is that possible this music box fell into acheron's hands and she brought it to panacone that's a fact and that's how it should have gone but along the way yes loud and clear it's like it's been erased who's done this <clears throat> This not a memory. Oh. 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 A memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Or the cremators? I gotta write down all My these terms. Name is Constance. A Constance. To meet you. We were supposed to meet in Pentagoni and spend it. <laughs> Unforgettable time together. Holy villain laugh. But that seems unrealistic. Dolly is not welcome on the banquet star, and I don't need a coming of age ceremony. And you. Wait. 
I know what you're looking for. VA, VA. Who's that VA? It sounds like, uh, Ganyu. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Evil Ganyu. I heard, I heard it, um, when she said ceremony. Jen Losi. Wow, she sounds great. Want her secret? I can give it to you, and then you can enjoy the banquet for me. Secret. I wish you unforgettable memories. Hmm. A phone. Wanna listen in? This is very overwhelming. I don't know what's going on. A few days ago, the IPC made an announcement. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established oh. and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history, turning the sensational Kataka Avgen extinction event into a distant memory. Sigonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the like I'm at Disneyland listening to and Dorno star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Aeon belief system. Oh, no Aeon belief system. Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm, spurned by all the gods. Mm. Land of rock, but not water. Is that baby? baby? Lightning, but not rain. Oh. Blood, but not tears. You beat us with your falling stars. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up with the cracked earth. You oh. promised us a land of honey, yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Oh, Gyathra Triclops, if thou can hear me, please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. I need to write this down. Yeah, I can see what you mean. That this pays off to be a to be a lore reader. I wonder how they make decisions on like how to, how much lore to reveal, because the story has to make sense to non-lore readers, but it also has to pay off for the people who did read. When you took his father, my child was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went. Oh. oh no. I too soon must go. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me. Does the baby swaddle sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Hmm. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? Rain. Mommy, mommy. Mommy, the rain. It's raining. 
raining. Raining. It is raining. It's true. Those outworlders weren't lying to us. They really did summon the rain. Mommy, we can leave here. We can go back home. Oh no, is this her dying? Gaiathra Triclops. <laughs> you came. <laughs> Do you hear that? <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Darling, mm. listen. This is the sound of rain. <laughs> On the day you were born, the sky also sent down a gift like this from Gayatra. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just like your name. A gift from them to Avgen. <gasps> Avgen. <laughs> May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful and your schemes forever concealed oh welcome to this sad world kakavasha <sighs> time to wake up gambler Kakash, Kakavash, Kakavasha. <laughs> oh, heavens. <laughs> I must have drunk too much soul Hello. blood. Uh, didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as you guessed. Uh, rest you. Nobody outside knows about Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. <laughs> They're still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony. Using a stand-in, I guess. They must be dreaming. <laughs> hey, this looks like oh, the setting of, of that light cone. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? Mm. Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. <laughs> until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. He's so excited. <laughs> Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced awake by the dream pool, and it's uh, all as if everything were just a nightmare. I threw myself off a building a few That's times, why I'm didn't really do anything. That there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Besides Robin, there was another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was a stowaway. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the nameless. Oh, she must have come across the other one. <laughs> this murderer is a psycho. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. We can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. Yeah, it's forced to change up. <clears throat> it's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin's stand-in was all ready to go. Mm. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. Uh, what should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so I gotta be careful. Incredible gambler. <laughs> Have you already exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks so soon? 
Oh, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Mm. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Robin is what she calls the mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by oh. any voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. But she died. Right before my very eyes. Crazy. A complete and utter loss. Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. There were eyewitnesses at the scene, and the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the hounds. There's so many different well, parties are in this. too optimistic, Doctor. So <laughs> break out in a cold sweat. <laughs> D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are? A probability? Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. To phrase it in a matter more befitting the vernacular of Penacony, you're dreaming. But if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. That man wants to see you again. Who? Yeah. Sunday. Uh. <laughs> Is this a public hearing or a private trial? If it were the former, it would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere <laughs> messenger. Is this? <sighs> they came. are so snarky to each other. <laughs> well, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Yeah, <laughs> well, definitely. Just you wait and see. That man's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Yeah, join the cause. Well, without any further ado, let's set off. Sunday. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want the scoop. Everybody. We're here. The Dewlight Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. The fortress? <laughs> Oh, I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't this heavily guarded. This mansion well, like normally music. belongs to Sunday, and is very befitting of its owner. Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. Bruh. Hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? <laughs> Who's to say I won't sell you out? You're going to jail! <laughs> we'll see. Or something. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out of him. Follow me and I'll bring you to his parlor. Hold your tongue and let me deal with the members of the family. <laughs> Oh, their dynamic is so funny. Achievement! You have a chance to progress the story from other characters' POV. When you enter the character's POV, the person the character will automatically be placed on your team. <gasps> Show me his kit right now. Ah, that's not... That's not funny. That's not funny. That's not funny! Hmm. Why are you gatekeeping him? <sighs> okay, it's seven. Let's see if, uh... Oh, Jake is ready to game! Dang. 
seven just, well, I guess it's seven twelve. They're foul. They're foul for putting him on the team. I guess you normally it says trial, but it says story here. I can't even look at him close up. I can't even look. Well, I guess I can. Feeling lucky. Water, still water runs deep. Oh, a snap? That's cool. The freaky hit movement. That's very satisfying. I like the sound. That's a cri that's a crispy snap. Um Feeling lucky. Peaceful calm. Peaceful calm. Ooh! Ah, uh, 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 okay, I see. So you have RNG. That's very nice. It's, it's the Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, it's the Nintendo Switch snap. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry that I have to stop here. Because it's, it's time for collab. I, c I might, I might, I might, I know, I know, Play I know, I know it's a horrible time to stop you. here. <laughs> it's a horrible place to stop, I'm so sorry. I'm teasing. Well, maybe, maybe after, depending on how long we play, maybe I'll continue after. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. <sighs> I'm like so sorry. 